Hello guys. In previous video, we have learned about basics of socket I/O. In this video, we will learn what is namespaces in socket I/O. So, what is namespace? Namespace is just like a grouping, and it allows us to split our logic in our code using single communication pipeline of socket IO so we can uh, initialize multiple namespaces in our code and split them throughout our codes for different purposes and our communication medium or a pipe will remain the same so let's look into an example how can we use namespaces let's say we have declared two namespaces namespace 1 and namespace 2 and we have declared rooms in them room 1 room 2 room 3 and in namespace 2 room 4, room 5 and room 6 so we can send messages from room 1 to room 2 or room 1 to room 3 or we can send from room 1 to all the all the rooms room 1, room 2, room 3 using the namespace that will make it easy by just uh, calling the namespace and the message will be sent to the all the rooms and we do not need to call the separate rooms each time similarly we can send messages from room 1 to room 4 as well we can send messages from different namespaces like we can call namespace 2 from room 1 and this will send all the this will send the message to all the rooms room 4 room 5 and room 6 also we can send us a room 1 message to room 1 to room 4 so these are some of the use of namespaces and let's finish up the introduction to the namespace and get started with coding in previous video we have created a simple example of socket i and we will follow that tutorial to use the code for namespace so let's declare a namespace named as admin namespace and we will define a name to the namespace this is not the url for the namespace do not get confused it is just a name for the namespace and the admin namespace is just a variable so that we can use move ahead we are replacing the io with the admin namespace now let's run the app and check okay we are not receiving this because we haven't declared the namespace in our html so let's go to html and call the name of the namespace here now let's refresh And you can see we have received the messages using the namespace. Uh, 
Hello, everyone. So this is the simple implementation of the mainstays. In the next videos, we will learn further uses of the namespace using the rooms of the socket IO. So let's see you in that video.